So thanks to all of you. Uh, so in the meanwhile, I was thinking that uh, what is the major challenge that the industry or a education institute faces? Because uh, educational institutes generally say industry don't support them. Industry always says they don't give us good products. The gap is because every education institute creates a degree at least four years in advance and the product in bracket which is student comes out after four years when the need is already finished. So uh, academicians and universities have to come up with a solution where seven se semesters they can plan as per their own needs and eight semester they can keep for the feedback from the industry to get train the students which can be useful for the sector. This is one of the solution. In the similar fashion, industry should also give a feedback. I know it's a very tough job because the kind of job I do, I work for an edutech company and we work with a lot of employers and we, guarantee, we provide a lot of guarantee jobs programs and we know reaching the right person to get a feedback is a very difficult job. But once you get it, you don't need to worry about students because they get the placement. Because if the sectors are open to give a feedback, if the companies are providing you with the feedback, they will definitely recruit the students from you. Because you are solving the problem which they have and the biggest cost for any employer is hiring employees. I am not talking about industrial era. Look at the sectors, banking, logistics, technology, hospitality, healthcare, top five recruitment sectors of India. You can talk to their HR heads, they will tell you the recruitment cost is so high and if somebody can solve the problem of reducing this recruitment cost, the companies can come in profit. Point number two, talking about digitalization, the biggest benefit of the digitalization will not come to the top 15% of Indian students because they are too smart. Top 10% intelligent students know how to find their ways. They don't need any university campus or anybody else to help them with what they want to learn. And next 10% people whose parents have enough money in their pockets, they can buy enough degrees for them. You don't need to worry about them. So cumulatively, this 15-16% of the students, they, the benefit of digitalization will not come to them, but the benefit will come to the next 65% which is residing in semi-urban and rural area, areas. These are the students who are doing BCom, BA, BSc. 9 million students from 42,000 colleges every year complete their graduation degree with BA, BCom, BSc return. The degrees were created way back 40-50 years back. Nobody has dared to change them. The commerce degree which I completed in 96 is similar except one subject. That is income tax because government changes the norms every year. So they have to change the book. The digitalization will help them. Why? Because the places where they are sitting, they are not getting enough and good faculties. They are not getting subject matter experts. They are not getting a basic knowledge of what actually a logistic sector is. What actually, because they see a bank, they know okay, bank is out. But they don't know what happens inside the bank. They don't know what is logistics. They don't know what is hospitality. Because they generally come from lower middle class, which is 20 to 50,000 rupees earning families. And these uh, houses have a very different fundamentals from what is required in a by the organizations of hospitality. Okay. Good morning, sir. How to wear a shoe is also a problem in India. I don't know. Uh, we all belong to a different class. We don't know. You have to train the students how to wear a shoe. Because India mein chappal pehni jati hai. And if you go to a lot of rural parts, you will find inside a bathroom there is a, a thing written, please don't wash your feet in uh, wash basins. So these are very small things, very small things for people sitting in this room, but actually a problem for those 65 percent students who have a problem because they are graduate, they need jobs. 
and i am telling you digitalization will change the way of life for this new education policy will change the way because we will bring in the best of faculties when i say we that means all of us in this room and the best of faculties subject matter experts will take it to them in the last village of india because if he wants to learn he can learn there is a lot of debate which happens ke online kaise padega kya karega kaise karega class mein bhi to log sote hain have you not experienced that if teachers are so good why not everybody is getting 90% why some of them are left behind for 45 50% so similar thing happens online if he wants to learn he can you cannot help everybody but who wants to take help i think digitalization will definitely help them only thing we have to rapidly do is one help them with the right courses like very well said by sir that bcom should have a banking kind of thing along with that so that is going to happen in new education policies educational degrees are going to come at a lower cost if everything goes well i think 5000 rupees is what you will get a a grade universities degree at 5000 to 10000 rupees and then one technological degrees at one already you are seeing a 15 16 lakh rupees mba have come to 4 lakh rupees 3 lakh rupees online from the same uni uh, university and campus why same faculties when they are teaching at a larger format in a recorded sessions it can reach much bigger and if somebody wants to learn he can i will not deny but there are other sessions which the which can help the student and that is how the cost of total digitalization will completely change it in next 4 to 6 years it will not change the faculties it will not change them but it will increase the reach of the right people to the right students so people sitting in those 65 70 lakh students which graduate in semi urban and rural areas you will find them learning a lot and becoming a useful manpower for the industries and then the industry will flow back that money which they are currently spending in uh, taking up these people giving them 6 months of salary 6 30 40% 40 of them leave the job because of the pressure and other problems and then that money will be plowed back into the education system uh because that is our business model let me be honest with you and we are successfully doing it for last 10 years that's it for me thank you